I ain't sure what you're reading. Oh, BJ, I'm spending time in the Word right now with oh, the yes. Lord. And I found some a Bible verse I've been thinking about. Yeah? Yeah, it's in Matthew. You want to hear it? Sure, I'd love to hear it. I love God's Word. Yeah, it's um, Matthew 11, verses 28, 29, and 30. Okay? Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, well, not really. It's Yeshua talking. Oh, well, sounds like more than it is. Yeah. So here's what Yeshua says. He says, come to me. That means to Yeshua. Come, all, come to Yeshua. All you who are weary and burdened, tired, and I will give you rest. Ooh, sometimes we need rest, Aunt Cheryl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take, and not just sleepy time rest. Sometimes we need rest in our heart, don't we? Yeah. We've got to have that shalom of Yeshua. That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're learning so much, BJ. Yeah. I God love is so it. so good. He is. And take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah, praise isn't the it, Lord. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Yeah. And it says, for my yoke is easy, and my burden, that's Yeshua's burden, is light. His it's yoke is easy. Is that like a big egg yoke? No, 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 no. No, it's, um, it's, well, there's a couple different kinds of yokes, but, yeah. um, there's some for animals that, uh, for one animal or two animals. Mm -hmm. And I think Yeshua is actually talking about for two in this, okay. because he says, learn from me. And they talk about with animals that you have an one that's called the lead and they know what they're doing. Oh. And then the one that's learning how to pull the plow or the wagon yeah. is beside that one okay. and they're learning from them. And so wherever that that one goes, because of the yoke, it helps the other animal go. Oh, it so, helps, helps lighten the load. It does. Yeah. Well, there's I another there's another yoke. Yeah. I I was thinking about it. I yeah. I went researching our homeschool books because I remember this well, from. We got a lot of homeschool books around here. We do, we do, yeah. and I just loved the Little House on the Prairie books. Ooh, and I love I, those too. About Laura Ingalls. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and how God just protected them and their pioneer spirit. Yeah, they're awesome books. Yeah. You, you boys and girls, you should read those books. Yeah, yeah. or we read them as a family too. Yeah. So yeah, read, them, read them a lot, have mom and dad read them. Yeah. That's great family yeah. time. It is, it is. And, and, and I challenge you, if you've never read them, and as you read them, think about where their lives were saved throughout the whole series. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's God amazing. was always good. He was. Looking out for them. Well, I finally found the picture. I went looking and looking through the yeah. books. And and it's in the first one, The Little House in the Big Woods. And it's when they're talking about sugaring. Yeah. And they're getting the maple syrup come, or the the sap from the maple trees. Oh, yeah. And they turn it into syrup. Maple yeah. syrup. I love maple well, syrup. Well, it would go into it's the buckets. It's sticky, though. See here. Here. You can see it here in the picture. Yeah. They they did tapping and, the, and it would drip slowly into Look the buckets. Yeah. Yeah. See? But then if you notice here on the side, right here, you see, that's paw. A picture of Paul carrying two buckets and over his his hat, right around his neck. Do you see that, BJ? Yeah. Whoa. It's like a yoke around his neck. Yeah, it's it's rounded. I don't have any pictures of this, but it's it's how he's doing it. And what he would do, I'll show the boys and girls here. Okay. You can see the two chains, and that it's the exact length of his arms. And, and while he's doing that, it just, he just balances it. Wow. The yoke and the chains are carrying the weight of it. It's like, you see here, BJ? Yeah. It, it's like, see how Looks he's like it would that? be heavy. It would, but it, it, but it helps. And it would be a lot easier with the yoke yeah. than without. Because that without, he'd have to hold those buckets away from him. Yeah. And so it wouldn't hit his legs and they're heavy. And he was going to be doing that all day long. Ooh, that's a lot of work. Yeah. That helps make it a little bit easier. It anyway. does. Yeah. So yeah. it's not that we don't have work to do for the kingdom with Yeshua. But what he gives us to do with him teaching us, yeah. it's it's not a burden to do it. Well, and, and Cheryl, and you know what? Us, Life's yeah. hard enough anyway with the physical work. But, yeah. you know, we got to have Yeshua in our lives. 
Because he brings us that shalom and peace. We gotta live in peace. That, that's true. That takes a lot of burden off our lives. Yeah. So so that's what he's talking yeah. about here. He's talking about that he will give rest for our souls. Yeah. He's gonna help carry that with us. Yeah. So by ourselves it's hard. Right. But with, with Yeshua's yoke, it's easy. He's there with us carrying that weight. And he sees us through the hard times, doesn't he, Aunt Cheryl? He does. And we really do need to learn from him because he doesn't want us to have fear. He no. doesn't want us to have anxiety. No. He doesn't want us to be confused. That's right. That's not his way. Ooh, amen. That's heavy. Amen. That's heavy. And so if you know that you're realizing something is weighing you down, BJ. Yeah. We need to one pray immediately. Oh yeah. But but go to Yeshua, and if you're sometimes the battles are a little bit harder. Come to somebody. Come to somebody that will agree with you in Yeshua. Don't go to someone that's not a believer. No. Or doesn't know the power of the Holy Spirit. You the need best to... place, Aunt Cheryl, is is at our our community. Yes. At ESC community, or you know, tell your mom and dad. Yes. Yeah. And it, and it, talk to some leadership. And, and we'll pray with you. Yeah. We'd love to. Yeah. Now, there are some boys and girls that watch our videos that, that can't get to ESC on, on Shabbat. But they can reach out to El Shaddai, and El Shaddai can reach us. Okay? Yep. Amen. And, so, and we can pray with you. Yeah. yeah. And we'll find the email that they can, and we'll put it in the credits at the end. Okay? Okay, that sounds great. Yeah. yeah. Pretty soon we're going to have one, but for right now, that's how you can do it. Okay? Amen. If you need us. That sounds awesome. Because we want to help carry those burdens with you. Yep. And Amen. see the victory. Amen, boys and girls. Amen. So with Yeshua, we can do it. Ooh, amen. Can we praise the Lord? Yes, because... Let's praise the Lord, boys mm, and girls. Mm, one, one, two, two three. three. Praise, praise the, the Lord! Woo-wee! <laughs> oh, remember, lean on Yeshua. Yep. He'll teach you. Amen. God bless you, boys and girls. God bless. Bye. I'm here to tell you about the yoke of the Lord and how he... No, I ain't talking about an egg that's over easy like them kind you get down at the rusty skillet, though they do taste good. I mean this right here, which you use to hook two oxen together so they can share the labor of each other's burden when getting a field ready to sow a harvest. They work alongside each other, you see, sharing the load so it ain't so tiring. Good Lord knows this life ain't easy. That's why he said my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He don't want you going around letting the things of this life make you all depressed. No, that's why he said cast all your anxiety on him. Why? Because he cares for you, that's why. Says so right there in the good book. Well, it's about milking time. Why is that fence down again? And where's Maybell? Lord have mercy.